you can never go wrong with prayer. The devil does not fear anything. The devil fears a praying person. If you can pray, the devil will bow. Praise the Lord. Don't fear to lose money. Don't fear to lose business. Don't fear to lose people. Fear to lose your prayer life. If your prayer life is diving down, it's a point of concern. Nothing should remove you from the altar of prayer. There's a temptation the devil brings. The temptation of things being handled. You want answer. You want this. You want that. And because of all that, we are drawn away from the place of prayer. Natural man has the capacity or the tendency of trying to make things work. Solomon said God made man upright, but man developed or came up with many schemes, many ways. Amen. Anything God cannot do when you pray, he will not do when you work. Anything God cannot do when you pray, God will not do it when you work. Anything God cannot do when you are praying or God has not done when you are praying, God will not do it when you are not praying. Anything you have not gotten by prayer, it is not worth getting. Are we together here? Just before we get to the prayers tonight. Don't be a, listen, a praying man has access to everything that God has. A prayerful man has access to everything God has. Amen. He said, call unto me and I will show you. Jeremiah 33 verse 3, he said, call unto me and I will answer. Then I will show you great and mighty things. Where there is prayer, there's winning. The secrets of God are only understood on the mountain of prayer. The men of the mountain are the men of prayer. The men of the mountain are the men of weights. If you're tired with down here, climb the mountain of prayer. Amen. Let prayer be part of you. Pray until prayer knows you've prayed. Pray until prayer becomes identity. Pray until anything, the best thing you can do is pray. Anytime you have another option, you have not prayed well. I get scared when I start looking for another way. Prayer is the way. Jesus said, when you pray, pray like this. He said, not when you feel like. He said, when you pray, pray like this, our Father. He said, when you, when, when you, when you enter into your closet and you pray, he that hears in secret, sees in secret, shall reward you openly. Amen. Jesus said, pray with all manner of prayer in the Spirit. A prayerful man is a dangerous man. Colossians chapter 4 verse 2. Praise God. Praise God. He says continue earnestly in prayer. Continue. Continue earnestly. He's saying don't stop. No matter what is happening, don't stop. Continue earnestly. The door is not opening. Continue. Things are not working. Continue. There is no result. Continue. The day you lift your leg or your knees from the place of prayer without an answer, you have lost it. Am I talking here? If your prayer life is weak, your life will be weak. If your prayer life is weak, your own life will be weak. Listen, when you put a lot of fire 
in prayer. The devil fears fire because you only understand the language of fire. Why the devil is still dancing around the corridor of your life? The fire is not too much. They said if you want to boil a frog, you don't throw it into the fire. You put it on cold water. Then you start to steam the water. The rat can stay, not the rat, the frog can stay in that atmosphere for long. But there's a heat, a level of heat when the frog starts feeling it, it wants to jump out. The devil only jumps out when the heat of prayer is too much. Amen. Amen. When living in the days when the fire is not too hot, the devil is still dancing around our lives. Amen. Let your life be the product of prayer. Prayer. If you cannot pray, you will play. Put like this. When you cannot pray, you will play. Utacheza. Life is as a result of your prayer life. Anything you see today about your life, if it is not good, prayer did not bath it. There's nothing as important as prayer. The disciples contacted power on the mountain of prayer. They went up to the upper room. I said they went up to Je they went up to Jerusalem in the upper room and they dwelt there. Are you with me? It is good to work. Look for things. Look for map out, map, map out strategy. Only from prayer and after prayer. Anything you do, plan, look for when you have not prayed. Anything you get by sweat, by sweat must keep it. Anything you get by your own wisdom, by wisdom must keep it. Anything you get by prayer, by prayer you maintain it. Why do men go up and come down? When they went up, something took them up. Amen. Anytime you're in the plane, to start running on the runway, then they will tell you, belt up, it's time to take off. Then before it takes off, the plane will take speed to gather momentum. Then with the same momentum, it will shoot up. You don't go up with the same weight and speed and momentum it takes to go up. For it to stay on, uh, up, it has to maintain the momentum. Why many people keep on coming down? It's because you went up by prayer. You did not maintain yourself by prayer. You start going down. Amen. Praise the Lord. The mountain of prayer, every Christian must climb. You must be familiar with it. I'm not talking about going to Catalonia. No. The who told you the mountain of prayer. Mountain of prayer is your spiritual life. Where do you dwell more? Where do you stay more? How often do you visit the altar of prayer? There's a way you pray, your own body knows I've prayed. Am I talking? I'm not talking about, Father, do oh, you know I love you? God knows you love him. There's a deeper realm. There's a higher place. Amen. Yeah, man? There's a place, there's a prayer point you give. The devil and one million demons, check out. One prayer point you give. The devil and one million demons disappear. It's a prayer you pray. Money has to answer within hours. Because it's a place a button you have pressed. But that does not come because of what? It comes because when you have dwelt on that realm for long. You have dwelt there. The Bible says Moses dwelt on the mountain of prayer. But the time he was coming down, people saw literal glory. He had to come. He, was, he came down as a human being. He was an angel. His own skin became prayer. His own skin was radiating power, radiating the glory. Why? He had stayed there for long. Even the people said, Moses has tarried for long. How long do you stay there? Amen. Amen. 
the, what I call the secrets of prayer. There are things that make your prayer work. It is not praying that makes prayer work. It is becoming prayer that makes prayer and the answer. Can I repeat what I said? It is not praying that makes prayer work. It is becoming prayer that makes the prayer to be answered. What do I mean? Umeka hapo mbaka mwe mwenye ni maumbi. Pray with me. If you pray in tongues, you get tired. You pray in understanding, you get tired. It's what I call soaking yourself in the same atmosphere. I ever prayed, you move from natural voice to soprano. Then you move to alto. Then bass will enter. Then you switch back to soprano. That's when you say, now you have started praying. Are we together here? Then you are praying, Father. Then you die. Father! Oh Lord! Yeah! Then it moves. Father, you, you go all the dimensions. So I said, let me pray for a few minutes. We are going to pray. Are you ready? So I said, let me pray for a few minutes, then I go rest. So, began to pray. I don't know how to pray. I pray, I take some, some few minutes in tongues. I was praying in tongues for 45 minutes. I said, now let me switch. I could not switch. One hour left, second hour, third hour, fourth hour. I finished. I got tired. My body got tired. I said, let me sit here. I sat down. And there was music playing. And I opened my eyes. It was 4 a.m. This is when you pray and you soak yourself in the atmosphere of prayer. I don't know if I'm helping someone here. The prayer that will give you answer is not the prayer you pray for one hour and you go to bed. It's the prayer after you've prayed. You stay at the place of prayer. Let me talk. You can never, you can never, before I could hear God once, I took time to be there. God does not talk always. He talks. God does not talk to everyone. He talks to people who wants to listen. There are some things I disagree. I was walking and the Lord talked to me. Eh? Which God is that? Then I look at your life. Since God talked, no change. It not, God did not talk to you. Something has to spoke to you. Are you with me? I was in the toilet. God spoke in the toilet. God does not like places that smell funny. You can enter his presence and things will change. Amen. One time I was praying. I took one prayer point. Prayed that prayer. I was standing on one spot. Prayed, prayed. Prayed one prayer point. When I opened my eyes, it was 45 minutes, one prayer point. 45 minutes. If I could say amen. 45, one prayer point. Die. Lose. Die. 40, one prayer point. The devil is not your uncle. He's on serious business. Destroying you is his assignment. It is so serious that Bible says the demons don't sleep till they make you fall. Those people that fall, the devil won. Is it not uh, Proverbs 4, 16? Is it, I'm not sure, 6, 14 or something like that, 6, 14 Proverbs. It says they are robbed of slumber till they cause someone to fall. If you see somebody falling, the demons have won. Check, check for me. It says they are, they, they are robbed of slumber. If you see somebody's business falling, somebody's life falling, demons won. Say, for they, thank you, 416. Say, for they do not sleep unless they have done evil. And their sleep is taken away unless they have made someone fall. When you see somebody's life fall, business fall, marriage fall, you see their ministry fall. The demons. Because Matthew 13, 25 says, they are, they says when men slept, the enemy came and planted tears. They only come when men are sleeping. So they are robbed of their slumber that when you're sleeping, they work on you. Are you with me? Can I hear an amen here? So there's a, there's a, a certain place you must get whereby even if you go to bed, the devil knows in this territory, upper, at Prince Peter, it is not when you can pray. It's when you pray. It is not when you can. You feel like to death. No, we don't pray because we feel. We pray because we have to pray. Are you hearing me? I've ever prayed till you dozed while praying. Ah. One day I was praying. 
When I open my eyes, and I'm gone. I, I, not in the Holy Ghost. I slept. My body slept. I slept in prayer. Amen. I want us to pray. Are you ready? There are many people. Why they are not ever experiencing? Why they start with pray, talk about prayer? Because what I want to share with you is very brief. But I want to show you why many people, they are still trapped. Look at uh, Joshua chapter 1. Joshua chapter 6, sorry. Verse 1. Look at this. And this is what I want us to handle tonight. Joshua 6. Say, and now Jericho was securely shut up because of the children of Israel. It was securely, securely shut up. None went out and none came in. They were trapped. Trapped. People in Jericho were trapped. Say, no, it was secure. Nobody could. That's where many people are in life. They are trapped. You can't come out financially. You can't come. Anyway, Maliuko is stronger. Trapped. That means the children, of, the, 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 the habitants of Jericho, nobody could come in or go out. So if you want to go out of Jericho, you couldn't. People were tra trapped in. We have many people today who have been trapped. Financially. Trapped. What is that thing that is too strong that can trap your life? Isaiah said it in, in Isaiah 42 verse 22. Say, these are people robbed and they are put in holes. They are trapped in holes. Say, but this is our people robbed and plundered. All of them are snared in holes. Ah, and they are hidden in prison houses. They are for prey. And no one delivers for plunder. And no one says restore. Nobody is saying you can be restored. These are people robbed. These are people plundered. Their, 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 their gifts, their breakthroughs have been robbed from them. They have been plundered. They are empty. Some say, they say, Papa, I am empty. Yeah. Everything has crashed. What is that thing that gets you to that point? That now you have nothing, everything is gone. See, no, and they, they, are, they, are, they are snared, they are traps, they are trapped in holes. Are you me? There are many people today, even with, as I said, you must have a certain prayer. You don't pray because you feel it, you don't pray because you're not tired. You pray when you're tired. There's no place to tell me ever now that I'm not praying. You are joking. The devil is a 24-7 kind of devil. He works night shift, day shift, all the shifts. He's working from Monday to Monday. One pastor told me, ah, maybe if you got Saturday, na pumzika, uh, Friday, na pumzika, Saturday, na pumzika, Sunday, na pumzika, na Wednesday, na Monday, Wednesday. <laughs> there are days after service on Sunday, I go for prayer. Sunday! And people go home, Nine kapu zukada. I must pray. As you are eating, as you're sleeping, there are people snared in holes. And no one says restore. We don't pray because we felt something. We prayed until prayer gave us results. Mark 16 25 say they prayed, then they sang praises. So prayer is the one that goes ahead. They prayed, then they sang songs of praise. So before Paul and Silas could be released, he says they were praying and singing hymns. So prayer went before singing. Say amen. Listen to me. Let me be very honest with you. The devil can let your life be forever. I'm telling you. The devil can decide from today, this one I will never touch. Are you with me? There's a way you put fire around you. He cannot dare it. I've always said a statement. I've always said there's a saying that says, if you see a rat running into the fire, what is pursuing it is stronger than the fire. You cannot make supply. Then one man who does not even know God 
tells you, I will not pay you. And then they don't pay you. And there's nothing you do about it. And you die. Unalia unapata pressa. Yeah, na anda kukula. Ah, yeah. There's a, a baton with press. Your kidneys will be, you'll be feeling pain on your kidneys. You'll be feeling, and your heart will be paining this side. Then your mind will be going crazy on one side. Very uh, uh, headache on one side. Then one eye is moving water. You will pay running. But that cannot be done if you have not touched a certain realm in prayer. Wherever the devil has trapped your destiny, today shall come out. Today shall come out. A man told me, Mama, pray for me. Uh, we don't go to the village. I said, why? There's a witch who said, the day he will smell us in the village, is the devil of us are dead. He said, my sister tried it. My sister is dead. My brother tried it. He's dead. He said, sir, I cannot go. I said, so a whole witch is to- stopping you from going. He said, go if you die. Tell them not to bury you, to bring you. I'll raise you up. Go! And as you, the moment you drop from the, from the, I said, sir, do I go with my car or should I take bus? I said, whichever way, the moment you reach village, power oil, let that witch cross if he's a human being. If he carries blood in his vein, let him cross. I said, hey, man, what will happen if he crosses? I said, let him cross now, we'll know later. <laughs> let him cross and say, if anyone wants to kill me, cross. If he has blood in his face, let him cross. Say, sir, what if he crosses? Say, hey, we don't de- ask me that question after he has crossed. So the witch went. When he reached where there was oil, he said, he said, he saw inside. He could not cross. <laughs> the boy did not answer. The, the boy, <laughs> then <laughs> the mother of that man told the witch, he's coming. He said, I can't cross here. Is it there? <laughs> cross if you have blood. Anyone that is testing your destiny, let fire respond. I say, let fire respond. There is a place of prayer. Warfare is one of the arrows the devil fears. I want us to engage. Are you ready? I'm trusting God. There are people whose destinies will be released tonight. Say, these are people robbed. Who has robbed you of what belongs to you? Who has, who has plundered you? Say, these are people robbed, plundered, and they have been snared in holes. Prison houses, they can't come out. And there's no one who can say come out. Tonight, anywhere your money has been trapped, your destiny has been trapped, your life has been trapped, the hand of God will bring you out. I wish that amen was a louder one. Listen, prayer changes is a game changer. Ah, anyone that prays, their destiny is secure. Somebody said, we used to say this thing many years when you're still small. There's no dustbin of prayer. It is not light, it's true. Prayer is building equity. You build. You build. You continue building. You're not seeing any result. You're not hearing anything. You're not seeing anything. You continue building. You keep building your clouds. Elisha built it for seven times. Same prayer point. Jesus built it seven, three times. He was building the hour. Three hours Jesus built the heavens. He built it so much that Elijah himself and Moses, people that understood the mystery of prayer, came out. Moses stayed on that mountain for 40 days, building equity. Elijah knew what to build it. The two people who are masters in prayer are the ones that responded. That's why anyone that has a place of prayer, heaven must respond. I've had people say, oh, Paul appeared to me. Those people that say, I had an encounter with Paul, check their life. There are people who study the Bible a lot. People of prayer will tell you I had an encounter with the angel Gabriel. Those things are real. Amen. Say, Moses and Elias came to comfort him. Say, ah, sir, you're doing well in prayer. This is that you're praying till sweat turns into blood. You have travailed. Only those who travail prevail. Only those who travail prevail. You pray one prayer point. I took one prayer point. I was tired of the same situation. Say, Kitu a Yendi Kwanin. Kitu Kwani Badili. Kwani is the time there. I can't I stood on one point, one spot. Die. Loose. Die. 
45 minutes, one prayer point. When I said, Amen, I was feeling dizzy and I had shifted ground without knowing. According to me, I was here. I found myself there. How? I don't know. What prayer point? When is it turning to you? I'm going to be And when I come out, I die. And I, and I sneeze. Die. I'm like, Chia! Die. Chia! Will you play that game? There are people here. Your life must change. Amen. I say, your life must change. Amen. I said, your life must change. Amen. Nobody will change it for you. You will change it. Are you hearing me? Which devil is this that does not want to let your children go? Is the devil bigger than God? Matter of fact, God has put him under our feet. I want you to touch. Please, eh? One, one way you pray the, the warfare prayer well is you pray with everything you have. Then everything is on one. You don't pray and you're looking around as if you are looking for an arrow to shoot. You make sure your everything is there. Are you getting me? You pray with your might. You pray with your voice. And everything is co- we are concentrating on this area. Somebody's life will change tonight. Yeah. Say somebody's life will change tonight. Somebody's life will change tonight. Amen. A lady told me, Papa, oh God, uh, the baby has refused to enter. I said, the baby has refused to enter. For how long? I said, I three years. The baby has refused to enter. I said, okay. I gave her spiritual capsules. Three prayer points. Each prayer point, five minutes. Only three. Say, pray these prayers. One prayer point, five minutes. Time yourself and you pray aggressively. So when you're done, you only do it for three days. Also, manga, one times three for seven days. No. So I told her, one times one for seven days. Prayer point. Pray this prayer for seven days. I said, every time you finish, uh-huh, meet Oga. Every time you finish, meet Oga, seven days. She finished prayer. I have not seen her in church. I only saw a text. Say, sir, pray for me. I'm about to deliver. I said, when did it enter? I said, ah, sir, give me, I don't know. I'm about to deliver. I said, hey, capsule worked. Please, don't pray like an ice cream person, like an ice cream seller. You will pray well. Say, these are people. Bible says, no one could come in. The walls of Jericho was a shattered place. Nobody could come in, nobody could come out. So people were trapped in Jericho. If somebody had a business outside, it had to spoil. If somebody had a husband outside, it had, he could not come in. Jericho was a place that nobody could enter. And Bible said they had long walls. Some of us, we are living. We are, we are, we are around. But nothing is working. The next prayer point I will give you, I want you to attack it. Are you with me? I'm trusting God for some people here by Sunday, there will be testimony. Amen. Say there will be testimony. Amen. There will be testimony. Amen. The devil that said your business would not rise, that devil lied. Amen. God is able to raise it up. Amen. I've always said, those who are aggressive will make progress. Your aggression determines your progression. I want you to engage. Warfare is an arrow the devil fears. If you do it well. Are you ready to pray? Listen. Prayer is what the devil fears. People say, the devil does not fear your prayers. It's not true. The devil fears a prayerful man. He give, because prayer puts a wall of fire around you. Who can come near fire? Even a madman cannot hug a transformer. Can he? Even a madman cannot hug. Oh, to get to a party in live wire. Let me hug it. Ah, uh-uh. ah. It will become roasted meat. Even a madman, when he see a track, he will give way. Say, my madness is not at this level. Still, it knows this whole thing can kill me. Are you hearing me? I have seen mad people when they see car. Hey, when it's near, hey, madness continue after I've left the road. 
That devil, today we're going to charge fire. That devil that thinks he cannot live, it will, he will live. Shout power! That are refusing me to go forward. Die! Open your mouth and fire your prayer. Yes! Sukapaya lalashi! Zukiti kete kete rato. La shakata kata. Rosete ke le graso fradi. Aha. Kepo shatala rabagadi arada.